Welcome to Picture This with Bloomsbury, the video series where we introduce you to our picture book creators and learn more about how they create their remarkable books. Today we're meeting Chandra Strickland, the author and illustrator of Jump In. Chandra was the winner of the Credit Scott King John Steptoe Award for New Talent back in 2009, and since then she has illustrated many gorgeous picture books. But Jump In is special because it is the first time Chandra is both writing and illustrating a book, and the result could not be more impressive. This joyous, dynamic story is a celebration of play and community, bringing to life the sights and sounds of a neighborhood playground as a double dutch game gets underway. Opening with the lines, asphalt sizzles in weight, ropes lie in the corner as bait, tic-tac, tic-tac through the wind, feet bounce up the block in time. Jump in! As you can tell, this rhythmic text begs to be read aloud, and the vibrant illustrations with special gatefolds showcase a busy, happy neighborhood reflective of the beautifully diverse world readers inhabit. Let's hear from Shadra on her inspiration for this story. So when I'm working on a book, I pull from a lot of different art movements and um, I look at videos, I watch movies, just as much as I can to kind of get the creative juices flowing. And for Jump In, uh, a lot of the dynamic movement, shifting perspectives was influenced by Italian futurism. Um, the art that was created was just so dynamic and um, really fun and magical and reality bending. It was so good. But I also watched West Side Story when I thought about how to introduce this, this scene, this neighborhood, this event. I was like, you know, I really love that intro in West Side Story um, shot by Daniel Fapp, where we really get a scene of the, um, the, the grounds and the neighborhoods um, and sort of pulling in and pulling out between close-ups and faraway shots really helped um, give you a real sense of setting, you know. And so in Jump In, we kind of see that where we're, we see the neighborhood first, um, get a sense of kind of not necessarily who lives there, but just the overall tone and vibe of, of the city and these, these kids and people in there quiet houses, and then the few running outside to play, and then our main character, one of our main characters, coming out to scream, <laughs> jump in, and bring everybody outside. Jump in has five gatefolds, and this happened because of, again, that rhythm of the text and the refrain of jump in and just the larger than life feeling of play. Um, so I want this book to be an, an experience, you know, from, from the reading uh, to the illustration, but also just to the physical, the physicality of the book, you know, and with every gatefold, there's a really um, special and playful reveal. So just as much as this book is about play, the kids or our readers have to play with it. In the, the spread where we have the double gatefold and we open up um, the scene to all of these kids jumping and playing, I really wanted to lean hard um, into Fortunato de Piero's work. Um, there's one image that I love so much, skyscrapers and tunnel. And you'll see like the sun um, I kind of lifted from his painting to use and jump in. But on this spread specifically, just the way that the buildings are kind of moving into one another um, and the sun is radiating outward and you have all of these like kids um, and echoes of children jumping in. Uh, I was really happy to be able to, to kind of uh, lean into that work. Um, I also wanted it to be really abstract, you know, like this was a scene where it's really about the feeling of play, um, the feeling of freedom and just happiness and joy. And so we get that with the oranges and the yellows and the reds and the texture and still kind of anchored by our two 
turners at the bottom of the page to make sure that we stay oriented within the story. So movement is, is an important part of this story. Um, I would say that it is the main character. In, in illustrating this book, um, I wanted things to feel fluid. I wanted there to be a lot of movement and ease in the characters and their gestures. And so when working digitally, when I was painting each person, I essentially just started with a blob of a gesture. I would just take my, my pencil and take, um, you know, a color and block in the, the actual gesture of the body and then go in and like clean it up and erase and refine. It was kind of like working in clay, you know? So, you know, we see movement in, in hopefully all, uh, most if not all of the pages. When you're thinking about illustrating a book, there are always these flashes of images that come up, you know, and then you just have to kind of massage them and work through them to bring them onto the page. And the, one of the main images that I had uh, initially of Leroy was him jumping in the air and hitting a split. I just was like, I have to have that. And he has to be like larger than life and like high above all of the buildings and the basketball court, like doing his thing. And it's important to me also to show kids doing things that we don't necessarily expect them to do. So Leroy is this, you know, basketball player, which in some cases is expected. Uh, but he's also like a really good double dutcher and he wants to be in the mix and play the game with everybody else. Um, and I just, this page makes me so happy. I love the colors. It's really juicy and vibrant. Um, and really just captures the, the movement um, and the energy of this dynamic personality. And I want, I want kids to see Leroy and be like, he's so cool. <laughs> he's one of my favorites. This book, the writing is very rhythmic and the art needed to be rhythmic as well. On a spread like 10 and 11, where we see this low shot of leg, that specifically to me kind of captures the sound, you know, like when we illustrate things, whatever you put in an illustration that makes noise, your brain is going to automatically associate that noise with it. So if you see a helicopter in a drawing, you're going to hear a helicopter in some way. You're going to feel the helicopter, you're going to sense it. And um, I wanted you to feel the rhythm of the feet moving. Uh, in double dutch and so you know we see close-ups throughout the story and different perspectives and just kind of moving the camera from um on the ground to something overhead like in the next spread um and and then towards the end of the book we're zooming out more and more because you have more and more people coming in to to jump and play um so yeah it's very much about establishing um the neighborhood giving you a sense of place, but also really placing the reader in the action. <laughs>